So I was recently looking through the videos that I've made this year, well actually that's not a joke, I didn't actually do that, but one thing I did realize is that I hadn't made my yearly video that I've been making every single year since IW came out, and if you guys have been watching then you kind of already know where this is going, but it's kind of my yearly rant about boss fights, and of course I'm not saying this because I dislike boss fights, in fact I think boss fights are really really cool. In fact, they build up the best climaxes that we've seen in zombies probably ever. They're just really cool for a lot of reasons, and mainly that's gameplay. But the thing is that my problem with boss fight does not lie within gameplay, because I think they're great for gameplay and they're just fun to do. But they more lie in the problem of repetitiveness and predictability and also, you know, the problems with the story. And I want to explain all of this. So the first one I want to talk about is the repetitive nature that they have now gained after being introduced inside Black Ops 3 because if we actually look at when our very first boss fight or true boss fight happened or I guess actually it started in Exo Zombies didn't it but you know we're not counting that but if we look at when the one that everybody considers to be the first boss fight in Zombies ever we had to look at the Ryzen Rocket and pretty much every single map after that has had a boss fight except for the exceptions of Classified and Remasters of course in Zombies Chronicles and then also Groston House, but regardless, all the other maps since then have all had boss fights at the end of their easter eggs, and if you actually count up all the maps that have had these easter eggs with boss fights at the end, you have actually 20 maps with boss fights in them, and because of that, it just feels like every single easter egg is just doing the same thing over and over again. I mean, just think about how predictable these easter eggs are now. You know, you do a couple random steps, which are good because those change from map to map, like you don't have really very predictable of the first couple steps in your easter egg which I like about it but then you always know like all these steps are building up towards a boss fight like you always know that when are we getting to the boss fight it just becomes way too predictable because that was one thing that was so cool during Black Ops 3 when we didn't know we were looking for a boss fight so we were just doing easter eggs and then the boss fight surprised us and we don't really have that anymore because we already know what to expect from every single easter egg you do some steps you get to boss fight you get cutscene it's the same thing over and over again and it's it's been this way for the last 20 maps which I feel like is a bit much at this point because it's just like the same thing every single time and we really don't have any unique easter eggs anymore it's just more of the same every single time and I think that's what's really hurting easter eggs and I guess just people playing easter eggs because in the past people especially during Black Ops 3 and even IW people would just stream themselves doing easter eggs over and over again because the easter eggs at the time were unique because boss fights were pretty new but now that we're 20 maps into this it's just kind of like well do I want to do this and just do the steps do the boss fight like honestly it's just the same thing over and over again every single maps easter egg feels quite similar because of the fact that we know that every single time we do at least cool unique steps at first but then we know we're always building towards a boss fight which I kind of feel like it's just kind of getting repetitive at this point and more importantly more predictable especially when we're hunting for easter eggs like when you're hunting for an easter egg or when you watch youtubers stream themselves hunting for easter eggs you know that they're looking for the boss fight like that's everyone that yeah that's what we think we're doing that's what we know we are doing and that's kind of the problem I have with this is that it's just getting too predictable and too repetitive and that's what I really think is hurting the I guess the easter eggs and how people used to stream them so much in the past and why they don't anymore is, and why people don't like watching anymore is because how predictable these things are and it just kind of feels like the same thing every single map like no easter egg really stands out that much from the other the are all pretty much the same thing now and that's just kind of a problem I have with it and one of the issues I have with them is just you lose the uniqueness of easter egg from map to map just think about moon for example like if we think about moon like there's no other easter egg like it like honestly that easter egg was just so crazy and it didn't need a boss fight like I think a lot of people can agree besides the RNG part of that boss fight and maybe the simplistic nature of it just because it was made during black ops instead of you know black ops 3 and 4 but regardless we can agree that it was just crazy it was crazy to see like there were so many things that they did to make great climaxes of this easter egg without having a boss fight i mean think about when you had samantha and rick toffin swap souls that was really cool i mean when the person who was rick toffin or now samantha would get all the perks that was really cool and then when you blew up the earth at the end of the easter egg again really cool and did not require a boss fight in order to like make you feel like that climactic feeling even though boss 
boss fights are really good at that. I mean, you just don't need it. You don't need a boss fight every single time. And this kind of leads me into my other problem with it. And one of my bigger problems with it, at least related to the Ether storyline. And this is the story part of this. Because honestly, to me, it feels like they're kind of just having to write in a boss fight for every single map. Like, if I want to point out one boss that I just really don't like and just doesn't feel like it's good is probably the Blood of the Dead boss fight. And this, of course, is where we fight the Warden. And, I mean, let's be honest, the Warden is a mini boss, not a main boss of a map. And it just felt like, well, we needed a main boss for this map, so we're going to fight him. And that's how it personally felt to me. I just didn't really feel it. And honestly, I think we all agree that was just a bad boss fight. But regardless, I just feel like they're kind of forcing in these boss fights. They're forcing them into the story. We have to write in the Avogadro. We're going to have to write in uh, a bunch of other things. And that's not to say that there aren't good times to add in a boss that work really, really well. I mean, think of, I guess, let's just say... I'm failing to think of one right now. Let's just say, you know, Revelation of the Shadow Man. Like, of course, we were fighting the Shadow Man there. But, I mean, if you think of Garai Krovi, we were fighting a dragon. It's just like, oh, well, okay, that's a thing. And I get it. I get it. It's, you know, I get that map. But I feel like a lot of these times that now we're just kind of, they're just kind of forcing themselves to write into this. And not only does this become repetitive for the gameplay, but this is also becoming repetitive for the story. Like, why every single time do we have to fight a boss at every single map like we didn't need to do that in the past like in past easter eggs we were completely fine without having a boss at the end of each map story wise again keep in mind that but now we have to have a boss fight for every single easter egg and this has to be written to every single story like in the past think of let's just for a good example because these are very very similar is that if we look at shang and then we look at alpha omega both of these maps we were collecting a piece of element 115 a unique piece of element 115 i should actually say but in one map we didn't need to do a boss fight we just had to unlock this place and then we'd have access to it whereas over in alpha omega where we're doing pretty much essentially the same thing instead of just unlocking something to get it we had to fight the avogadro on top of that and honestly i don't really feel like people would really say that alpha omega's easter egg is better than shang's easter egg i feel like a lot of people say well at least aesthetically shang is just pretty much the way better easter egg especially when you act the eclipse and all those things I mean it's just really really cool and of course that did not require a boss fight and it just fit better with the story because you there was nobody there's no boss to guard it and I, I don't know it's just what I kind of feel about it and I guess my point just here is that I just don't feel like every single Easter egg needs a boss fight and that's not to say that I'd want boss fights completely out of the game in fact I'm sure there's multiple ways you could fit a boss fight into every map if you wanted to without it being the climax like you could have a boss boss fight inside a map and just not have it at the end of the Easter egg, have it along the way of the Easter egg, which is something I believe they did in Exo Zombies. Of course, don't quote me on that because I did not play Exo Zombies, but I was watching videos of it recently and I think that's what happened. But regardless, I mean, I feel like there's different ways to fit in boss fights if you absolutely need to have a boss fight without having to, I guess, force yourself to write into your story or force it to be inside this Easter egg without being able to do other things with the Easter eggs that we have seen Treyarch be able to to do in the past with maps like Moon and Shang. So, you know, it's just something that I personally feel and I just, you know, make a video like this every year because I'm still out there just saying that I feel like Easter eggs are getting too repetitive and they're getting kind of oversaturated at this point, especially with the word that we're 20 maps into this whole boss fight thing. And also, I just don't think it's a sustainable thing for story-wise. Like, how sustainable is this story-wise? Like, how many bosses could you write into every single map? And at what point were you, are you just... It, coming up with these crazy reasons that we're fighting a boss at the end of the thing and I, I just don't think it's the greatest thing for the story either but regardless that's a really all I have to say about this I love to hear what you guys think about my thoughts on this Do you guys agree disagree because for the most part when I make these videos mainly people disagree with me which I find quite unfortunate but you know I guess I was in the minority but maybe this year round it's different with Black Ops 4 I don't know but regardless that's all I have to say if you guys did enjoy the video though go ahead do a normal YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, bell, share, and all that great stuff, but I'm going to go, I'll catch you guys next stream video or whatever it may be, but laters guys.